Well, I am making a meaty and cheesy stuffed pepper. Oh, okay. okay. I don't want to say anything, but do you notice that the hair on the coupon might closely resemble Jeffrey more than any of other of us? <laughs> hey, listen, I just want to know if this is rigged. Not any money over here. My yeah. nickname is Dollar Bill. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I like that. Thank you, Dollar Bill. Okay, so I've started by browning a pound of ground beef. I know, Sonny, you're over there doing your math because I'm so competitive. Thinking, okay. Is it 80-20 or are you doing 85-15? I, I did do higher fat. Oh, is this fifth? Oh, higher fat. No, higher yeah. fat is, is actually known, to, is, is more affordable than, exactly. than, than the, the exactly. sirloin or whatever. I like that. So <laughs> this is um, onions and garlic that I'm cooking in the same skillet where I cooked the ground beef. Part of budget cooking to me is don't make a lot of dishes. Mm -hmm. Don't make a big mess. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't need yeah. as many cleaning products, for example. Notice how mm. I'm doing a real thick 360 think on this. spices you're using there. That's chili powder? Chili powder and ground cumin. One of the things about a budget meal is I don't want to feel like it's a budget meal. That's right. I want it to feel delicious and mm -hmm. hearty, and I want it to feed a lot of people, and I want to have leftovers. Okay. So oh. I want to get more than one meal out of it. More so, bang for your buck. Exactly. So this is the onions, the garlic, the chili powder, the cumin, filling your kitchen and then just a can of whole tomatoes. I like to buy them whole and, and crush them up. And that way you get that kind of meaty texture from the tomatoes. I think we definitely want to use less meat here, but create the feeling of meat. Mm. You don't want it, hey, you don't want to eat a budget meal and say, well, that was budget because I'm, I'm hungry. Yes. Yeah, you don't want to be searching for the meat, though. You have to be full and satiated yeah. at the end oh of this. Oh, my God, you're such a tough crowd. We got to... We just we got it's a, a friendly competition. I, I see it's friendly. I love it. Once this cooks for a while, what you're also doing at the same time is Jeff has been delicately hollowing out these peppers, just taking the seeds, a little bit of the rib out, season them with salt and pepper on the inside. I think it's like really that. important Nobody when you make does stuffed that. peppers. Nobody season the pepper Agreed. because the stuffing goes in there and just kind of. Why can't red, hand. Alex? I know. All right, <gasps> I, I knew this was coming. I knew there was this a was coming. Profile. It's, Alex, it's I'm really about these in the, the taste. Oven, correct, them in the right? oven. They go in the oven at 400 for about 15 minutes or so, just to soften up a little bit before we stuff them. I know green peppers are cheaper. I think you you really need the taste of the red pepper, the sweetness. And you can sweetness. find them on sale sometimes. And you can find them on sale. And if you bulk buy them, sometimes you can get that bag of peppers that's cheaper. When they're cooked, they look a little bit like this. They already have that roasted quality and they have a lot of taste. Yeah. What about sure. buying peppers that aren't perfect looking? Sometimes they have like... Totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm adding back the oh, cooked or... beef and a can of black beans that have just been drained and rinsed. And actually, before you get at me about the bag of dried black beans as opposed to the can, they're often on sale, the canned. You can often bulk buy them, and they actually end up being sometimes cheaper mm. than that bag Maybe of dried. so much time. No, I agree with that. It totally is. Time. So once this kind of comes all together, I mean, it just really smells so good. I think the beans add more protein. The tomatoes are gonna kind of link up with the peppers and make them really sweet. Okay, so the last minute thing is just a touch of apple cider vinegar Ooh. for brightness and acidity. I always do that. And I think we forget acid with things like this because I feel like when we get into these kind of chili or stuffing type of dishes, you forget, hey, you know what? Just a little spark of vinegar can really change things up. And then, Jeff, will you add a little bit of couscous in the bottom of these? That's oh, what that is. I yeah, thought that was parm. Bit. You putting on the rinse, Alex. I know. I went so cooked couscous. Here's your, there, here's yeah. your spoon. I, was, I don't want it. Just a little, just a little bit in the bottom there. Just a little to fluff it And then we layer. Up, huh? Yeah, we're, we're we're doing the padding right now. This is the the plastic wrap and the bubble wrap around the actual Christmas present. <laughs> and then we just drop the stuffing right on top. And I, I mean, this goes a really long way. This is only Ooh. one pound of meat, and we're stuffing all these peppers and then these go back in the oven. Would you top with some cheese for me? Oh, Just yeah. a little cheddar. Wow. Part of budget is really making it, gussing it up a little bit and I love the way it looks. I love the presentation. It's I love great. that it's got built-in portion control. I think you know that one pepper is going to really go the distance with you. And it's I love that. a great way to add a vegetable. Yeah, right? and you, and you, oh, can, char exactly. you can charge more in a restaurant for that. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to put this back in the oven oh, for about 20, 25 minutes until they get hot and the cheese melts, um, and then we eat. We and I like love that. that it has that apple cider in there, the tomato, I'm gonna that destroy this. meaty black beans. Sure. I'm going to grab this for you here. Uh, before, would you pull that out for me? How does that look? Oh, oh come on. Woo! That's worth blowing the budget. No. Thank you, yeah. And then just what I love is this is kind of like right, ooh, these are hot, ooh. Mm -hmm. right on the table. 
Mm -hmm. And they just kind of, I don't know, they look Very really decorative. Dramatic. I like the stem in. Very and festive. So and I love the horizontal cut, too, opposed from, like, the cup, you know. Yes. Better ratio, don't it's, you think? It's very farm to table. It That's really is. That's what we do here. All right, so That's I have pretty. just a they few for you. Serve yourselves. Thank you. Oh, they're so hot. This is delicious. The red bell pepper, it just gives. It's so nice and tender. And I got to be honest, I've never pre-cook my bell pepper before I stuff it. I just stuff good it idea, in the right? oven. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good idea. Good and idea. seasoning it is so smart. Yeah, it needs it. Yeah, it gets it nice and tender for you. But the, the chili with the black beans, and I'm not missing anything. This is delicious, and I can't believe Shampoo. it was just $15.39 for a family of four.